Hello. I'm back. Back for more Elden Ring. Um, I, I finished my promise. I, I looked into the crystal staffs. So we are going to upgrade a different staff because this staff that we're using now, the Demi Human Queen staff, is uh, hot garbage. It's not good. It's really bad. How many runes do I have? Zero? Well, we all know how to get runes, which is by doing invasions. Or by drawing people to us, honestly, is probably faster, but... Um... Shit. Maybe I'll back up my save before I do. No, I'll just do... I'll save the dragon fights for another time, I guess. Where where can we fight? Where we can where can we surprise people? Oh, let's just invade. Let's earn those runes. It is so much harder to get runes from invading other people than it is to uh, invite taunt. You know, if you invite invaders, then you can pick up your runes if you die easily. If you invade someone and you lose your runes, you can go get them still, but it just means like. You don't have as much choice over where they end up. I love making people think that I'm a caster from the get-go, so that's what I'm probably going to do. Oh, that's pretty good damage. Yeah, that'll do it. If the spell didn't do it, it would have been the Dragon Breath, I think. Hey! That was some big damage. I think I had a decent shot there, but I, um... They were grouped up pretty tightly. And I just sort of pretended that I'd be okay. You know, sometimes you have to acknowledge that you don't know how well they're going to fight. So you have to take some time to kind of feel it out. <laughs> I need to get a little better at that, you know. But we're just looking for, I don't know, like 20,000 rings. Not that we need it, we could, we could break something to get it, but... Um, they're below us. And they're getting her, which is kind of bizarre, because there's not really any enemies down there. Yeah, they're down here. Bugwald. Oh, they're fighting already. Oh. Okay, well, we already got Foggle. But... Hey! 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 Looks like they may have fixed the fog wall glitches. Used to be able to like hit through them. I wonder if my Ash of War will work. I'd be very surprised if they came up to this wall though. There's not really a whole lot of reason to for this fight. This Melania Mania. I think this is. No, this is not. Who is this? I'm so bad with names in this game. You like the problem is that like you get more than one character with the same like starting letter for their name, like letter M in this case. Uh, then it, I'm screwed. I won't remember it. Like Melania is like the the lady of the side of grace that guides us. She's like our maiden. Or no, that's. 
I don't know. Yeah, I I I don't like when games do that. Or writers, I guess. Um, Cause like I don't know. Um, like it, it shouldn't be. Like I mean, they should be allowed to do that, right? But there's people that are as dumb as me out there, and then they should recognize that. Um, I don't know. Not everything needs to be done down. Like, I hate when um, other things get done down. Like, I'm okay with names being dumbed down, you know, because I don't think that just makes it easier to keep track of characters, in my opinion. Some characters, you need, like, their name to be, like, their name is part of their character, you know. But sometimes I think, is it, is it worth it to have it, like, two, two names that sound the same? And it's already confusing plot. can only have so much brain energy every day. I just started. I'm probably going to make a snack. <laughs> like, immediately. I was a little slow to get started because I take care of myself and I showered, and I did some research on the carrion swords, and had some food going and stuff, but I'm constantly eating, so... So they're down there. I don't know if they can see us yet. Or if they know we're there. Um, I think this is the only way they can go at this point, though. They can, like, go back and, like, re-explore that area, but... And that's, uh... That's not a player, is it? That is a player. What the fuck? Is it? It looks like the boss. Does, unless they're just cosplaying as the boss. Is that what they're doing? Let me do it. Let's see if I can throw one of these down there. No, that didn't work. That almost worked. Let's see if I'll get this one. Let's see if what this how this angling works. Oh I'm out. Let's see if we do some crafting. Swarm pot. This uses mushrooms. I don't know if they're that good though. Roped pot? Throw behind. Oh, that's fun. I should try those. Like, that'd just be kind of a, a flex. Oh, and this is good, though. Throw to impede healing using a flask of tears. So it uses... Uh, it uses a flask of tears. No, it uses FP. Okay, uses FP, throw to impede healing using... Okay, I, I, I like read that backwards. This is actually good, but I want to try the roped ones. All of these use mushrooms. Albinaric blood clots. Okay, those can be farmed. That's good. String can be farmed. Mushrooms can definitely be farmed. Okay, so... This doesn't scale off anything, so... Lightning is usually the way to go with these. So let's just do, like, 8. 8 is a good number. This person could have, like, snuck up on me so many times. I think that they're down there role-playing. And I will come down in a second. I just... I want to equip my new item. 
I'm not seeing it. This here is cool. Almost fell off right there. Oh, we came just in time because they didn't actually spot us. Yeah, they just they changed their mind. <laughs> okay, I'll come down. I'll come down. Hello, hello, Renegade. Thank you for the melon. Why are they attacking me? That is so bizarre. Did they bug that thing? That thing shouldn't be attacking me. That is really bizarre. Oh, I was hoping that would do it. I really need to equip the the mind. Uh... Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> good game. Very good squats. This guy's the squat master. I think that's really interesting though. They they managed to get that enemy to to go after me. I don't know how they did that. Yeah, I'm just doing a couple invasions to see if I can get some bonus runes. Um, so I'm gonna upgrade uh, my staff and then then I gotta decide what the mood is tonight. You know. Um, in this playthrough, I'm trying to work my way to the third. Arena Coliseum, um, so that I can do like the arena mode. But um, I, I still got game content to conquer before there, so I think next stop is uh, Altus Plateau after we finish the Radon Castle. But I'm going to try and go a little bit faster through it than usual. Because I've been kind of like taking my time, even though this is New Game Plus. Where are our friends? I didn't check the compass, so they're either above or below. Oh, they're below. Hunter has been summoned. I need to get better at like, uh, when I notice a hunter is being summoned, I need to make sure that I run away from the host because I think that's an easy way to get killed from the lag of the, the hunter loading in. I've seen other invaders do it when I have hunters coming in. So it's time I smarten up and actually, uh, do that. I hope you're doing all right tonight, uh, Renegade. Don't know if there's anything in particular on my mind, uh, aside from just like everything all at once. Not the movie, uh, although the movie is great. Are they? Oh, it's new? Okay, that's awesome. That's a good time to be awake. Uh, that's, that's, uh, right now it's like, what time is it? It's, it's like 3.30 a.m. <laughs> where I'm at, so, uh, not, I'm not thriving, I guess. I'm not thriving, but, hey, um, it's noon. 
I always call um, midnight raccoon noon because raccoons are nocturnal. So if there were ever a noon time for raccoons, it'd probably be midnight. So for me, it's, I guess it's just a few hours past noon. Okay, and we got Fogwald. <laughs> Oh yeah, a trench panda party indeed. Didn't get an instant invasion, so I'm tempted to like... Let's find some doggos, right? Is that the mood? Divine Tower... Where are our doggos at, though? That's what I'm wondering. I think that there's a bunch, like, over here. Yeah, there's a merchant here and some dogs just over here. So while we're waiting, do I have what I'm looking for? Yes, Glint Blade. We're, we're going to equip two of these, I think, and we're going to do some testing with them. Invented by Bloody Finger Rich American. Sheep just got chomped on. Here we go, the dogs are in full motion. So he just buffed his sword, so if I get hit by that anytime soon. Yeah, he's trying to get like a, a heavy hit on me. So I've been trying to not use my uh, targeting. And there he is, folks. He played. He was very patient, which is a good strategy. Great strategy. I'm gonna think, uh, I'm gonna let someone come in again. That was a warm up. I'm counting that as a warm up. It is fun. I like to, like, fight alongside NPCs because if you kind of get to know how they're attacking, you tend to have, like, an upper edge if you're, if you're able to pay attention. The dogs are not that great, though, to fight alongside. Like, they're, they're a little too fast. Um, and having two of them makes it complicated. Uh, having a bear to fight with, though, is a lot of fun, um, but also pretty risky. I don't think I'm going to do this much longer. I'm just kind of warming up for a minute. Um, I'm going to make a sandwich after that, and then I think we're going to continue on. I'm 
Oh, it's a little bit early since I don't know where they're at, but they're there. Madness build over here. Oh, very low health. Already trying to punish the kills. Oh, very good crap. I kind of love that the dog has been helping me. See the dog helps in there. Oh, I, I hate that spell so much for the Ash Award. It's so cheap. <laughs> the dog kind of saved me, kind of didn't. And that was spamming. That was spamming dodge there. It didn't work out. Let's try one more time. I don't want to. I don't want to leave them TP. You know, I haven't. I haven't won a single PVP moment in the last. You know, since I started streaming, actually, it's been pretty rough because I've been trying to do kind of goofy stuff, I guess. What do we want for spells? This is a fun one. I really like the way this looks. Reign of Stars. It's, I think it's gonna be hard to effectively use, but. You know, I, I, I do enjoy streaming this game, but I gotta admit that when I'm watching Elden Ring streams, I tend to like to see people who are playing it for the first time. That is the, like, it's sort of the thing with this game, you know? It's just, it just kind of is the, the mood, I guess is to watch people play it for the first time and like because that's always it's always entertaining because this game has so much to overcome you know i was so far away from that i need to learn to zone better when there's npcs nearby summoned. Okay, I did not mean to kill the dog there, but... Oh, uh, that didn't do it. <laughs> the both of us are kind of struggling here. Yeah. 
that could have been it too. Stem back. Having faster stamina regen is definitely helpful, but it's not like completely game breaking either. That's not quite what I had in mind. I should stop doing the jump attacks, they're kind of like... They're kind of not quite it. Oh boy, Hisam's going for the traditional attack there. Punish? Not a lot of punish. That's the thing with status builds, is that uh, they're not quite as good for punishing. And he's getting used to me doing that too. Oh, I've really wanted the third follow up there. I couldn't quite get it. I think he poise broke me. Very good fight. That was a tough fight, but it also was like a lot of fun. Unlike some of the other ones where I just uh, let the dog kill me. <laughs> I'm glad that that guy waited because he. I think he knew he was like, if I fight this guy with the dog, it's not gonna be a fight. So, we we kind of failed our quest to get some runes, but we don't. We can bust our own runes. We got we got runes to bust. Um, so I'm gonna do that. But first, we need to test something. Uh, I need to equip two of the Glint Blade stats. Two of them. Uh, I need to test something. So we're going to equip the Great Blade Phalanx, which gets boosted by the staffs. We're going to dual wield them and see what happens here. Because I, I need to know. So here's holding two, or holding them. Holding both of them. 366. Okay. Now let's try... It's not quite what it's going for. Also, I need to maybe drop the sword so I can light roll or medium roll. Looking random. I didn't quite get that. This is maybe not the enemy to test this on. I'm gonna go find a troll. Trolls are a lot easier to do this with. No need to prolong this. What I'm trying to do. Where is a good troll? Where's one that's like right by, actually, you know, better than a troll, a, a pumpkin friend. Um, hopefully we won't do too much damage. I don't think we will. Okay, we cast our spell holding two. The thing is though, this thing can get crits, I think. 318, okay. Let's see what this does. That was not what I expected. See, it's doing headshot damage. So this is not a good enemy to test on either. So here we go again. Going, actually gonna go find a troll. Uh, there's one right up here, honestly. Oh, no, there's not. 
Where is there one? There's one over here. I hope we can have an easy time testing this. But... Fuck, if I know what will actually happen. A flower wouldn't be terrible to test it on either, actually, but here we go. Especially since these motherfuckers are gonna come up. God damn it. Yeah, there's like so many things wrong with testing with the way I am. So let's, let's just go up to the flower. We're gonna go ahead and kill all the little ones. Because they're just going to get in the way. Fuck shit up. Love getting poisoned. Got some lag here. Can I not do a jump attack with my left hand? You can't? Holy shit, that's so bizarre. I guess that makes sense, but it's a little weird. Okay, but we're gonna just... There's a couple more little flowers. So we're gonna kill them. I, I don't want them to interfere. That's actually attached. So, where are we looking at here? 276? Three eighteen. Three eighteen. Okay, so putting away the staff, it still did the same damage. In fact, just to be sure... Where's our Zwei? Great sword, colossal sword. Okay, so we're actually going to test this the way I wanted to. After we re continue. Yeah, 318. So. We can pull both of them out if we really want to shred with those spells. Um, the only problem is that if we do that, right now we're heavy rolling. So uh, the one change we have to make is either... Sh Damn it. Shard of Alexander. I kind of want to keep that, actually. And we can't change those. We have to shed uh, 0.3 pounds somehow. So I guess the smartest way to do that would be with the armor. Which is a bummer because I like this armor. But 77 poise with these would do it. Either with the greaves or the gauntlets. Um, these shed a lot of weight. And they look pretty cool. Um, they kind of were my backup. Kind of a bummer that we're losing that, but... It's either that or swap the... Um, swap this for something else, which... Honestly, we would probably want to boost our uh, greatly raises potency at sorceries. Weighs more, but that's fine. We can make it work. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try that with um, 
Uh, having bonus jump attacks is, is just super powerful with our build, so we'll keep that. And then now we're medium load. Slightly less defense, but still plenty of poise. Uh, still solid looking gauntlets. I don't like the right hand quite as much, but it's still good. Um, yeah. Cool. That's a build. That's a wrap. And before I forget, I guess the next thing I need to do is... Uh, there's an item over here for crafting that I didn't get, according to the wiki. I haven't, gotten, I haven't gotten it in uh, the first playthrough either, so... Um, plus, there's a lady who's going to look at her fingers here, and everyone loves rocking fingers, so we'll share our fingers with her. It's Wim Wimdy. Wimby? How does it, I don't know which one it is. Wimby or Wimdy? The meme word for Wendy. It's finger time, baby. Oh, Please, fuck, I'm being summoned to another I world. I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Didn't quite have time to short my hands. I'm sorry. Someone needs us. We're, we're being summoned as a hunter. Uh, just Probably just in time to watch the host die. That's that's usually the, the vibe. That's usually what happens. Is that we come to help and then they get themselves killed because they don't know how to run away. They haven't mastered holding the the B button, I think it is. Hello. You're alive. Where are they? Where's our invader? You wanna gesture towards them? Looks like they have the blasphemous blade, which has got a wonderful ash of war. Uh, very fun to use. And right now I have like Gravity Well, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then I have Horfrost Stomp, which is just kind of like a utility, like if you can, like if they're not engaging, you can kind of spam it, you know, if you're able to zone them. So... I need to try and save this guy's life. Looks like our invader is hiding somewhere, probably. Let's see how good we are at propping. I'm. I think I'll be terrible at it because I, I haven't. Uh, it's like it really isn't easy to, to spot. Oh, and this area is cleared out. This guy is here for it. Oh, except for this. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> See, that's that's what I want to try and do. I haven't been able to do that yet. I almost... <laughs> that almost looks like the host is in on it. Like, they've been trying to get invasions to come over there or hunters to come over there. You please I can read them your fingers please your fingers Oh bless you oh. To the foundation of gold tarnished. Traverse Rhea Lucaria, Glintstone Eventide. 
and reunites the half crescents at the grand lift. Oh, but the bridge is collapsed and cannot be crossed. Only why should that matter? Storm Vale Castle. Well, there we go. Summoned again. Um, if it's the same spot, I guess I'm going to turn that off. This usually doesn't... Uh... Oh no, it's a new spot. Did we just hurt them? With that? I guess that's one way to find out where the, uh, the invader is. Oh, yeah, I guess. I feel like I contributed by uh, turning on the, the fire. Venomite. That sounds like a Pokemon. Isn't it? There's like a... Venonat, I guess. You, your oh, head traverse and reunite. Oh, only storm. Okay, that's all she had to say. Our fingers have been red, but we haven't found the recipe. There's a recipe over here somewhere. Here we go. This will let us uh, craft the... I don't think they're that easy to spot. These are bolts, these are arrows. Rainbow stone arrows, that's what I was looking for. So, you can make these, and then they just look cool, and that's all, that's all there is to it. But I don't have a bow yet, so I just wanted to get some crafted for when I do. We did get a few runes from that last um, summoning. So let's use them. I took you for dinner, no matter it. Lay out your arms. Yeah, it's not using much um, in the way of runes, so. We don't have much in the way of runes. Is that too much? Eh, Back that's already, too much. no matter. That's fine. I'm going to go twenty four. Because I'm not totally flush on those. We're not to the arena yet, so. So yeah, I think that's up for that. Next on the list. We can start heading to Altus Plateau, or we could go here to Starfall Crater. This is the next step in our journey, technically. So. But I also. Hmm. 
trying to think of what happens here and whether it is like, you know, I don't think that the, the thing with the underground sections is that you can kind of do them at any time without like missing parts of the plot or missing items or anything like that. Whereas it's all like the above ground stuff that generally uh, is vital for that. So yeah, let's head over to um, which, I don't know, maybe we should do this first just to like, like it's so much content. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go back to that. I don't feel like doing it tonight. Uh, we go to the Altus Plateau and I think we can take the lift. So let's try taking the lift. We do miss out on a patches cutscene if we jump to Altus Plateau. And it's actually kind of a decent one, so maybe we can do that real quick. I'm like looking at my guide and noticing that that's what they're saying. But if we're gonna do that, I think we'd have to go up through. I'm trying to remember, patches is like kind of in a weird spot by, up by Mount Kelmere. How do we get over there? I'm trying to remember. Um, I might I might try and think about that. I, I gotta grab a snack anyways, so I'm gonna switch it to my VRB screen. My fancy amazing VRB screen. I can find it. Yeah, this will work. Uh, I'll try and be, um, I think I'll just be like five minutes, probably like seven minutes to play it safe. So be right back.
back for almost, well, yeah, I'm, I'm basically back. And, um, also, uh, Lyrehacks, thank you for the follow. Um, I had to grab a... I had to throw something in the oven real quick, so... But it's good to have you. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, layer hacks. Layer hacks? Um, so yeah, what am I doing right now? I'm gonna get that item. And then... I gotta think of how to get to the Volcano Manor. And I think the simplest way is just... Let's see. Reaching the manor by yourself or Raya, or via Raya, doesn't change much. Meeting patches here before going to the volcano is just one cutscene and nothing else. Yeah, I guess we won't worry about that. That's what I was like. I've seen that cutscene. I just don't know. Do not remember how to get to patches, like before. Like, did we go up here? I don't think so. Because that leads to like over here. Yeah. We'll go to Altus Plateau of here then. The left. Nice great sword. Okay. I think I can. Or even here. Yeah, oh, there's a grand lift. And there is, there is something from the sky. Oh, it's a trebuchet. Okay. It does look really cool from the distance. I was say. You only encounter them like twice in the game. for them first. Her channel. 
Okay. We're not doing a lot of damage with that against this guy. seems to have one of the best jobs in Elden Ring, I gotta say. Like the one position where, as an enemy, where you get to just drive around. Kind of scoot around, shoot fire at people. Supposedly powered by one man in each wheel that runs runs on your at your bequest. stuff. You're a friend. Oh, it's just a, it's just a health flask. Okay. I don't think any of these enemies really drop in. Aside from just like gear. I still want to take a glance at it. sure we didn't miss anything important, like whatever this is. And this majestic uh, critter. that covers it. Uh, we definitely, definitely, the main thing here is the lift, for sure. as far as I can tell. Oh, and a chest. And something. Maybe there's, no, oh, no, this is an FP. I have not used the maces at all, so I want to maybe try them. I heard that they're not great, but I don't care. I want to make it work. I'm going to try out some maze action. Anything over here? There's so many little alcoves in this game, like, uh, I feel like if you, if you had, like, a podcast where you had a picnic 
each time in Elden Ring. Like, you would never run out of places to have it. You know? Hello, Swizzle Griffin. Thank you so much for the raid. That's awesome. I think uh, this is like my first raid. <laughs> this is so fun. Um, hello, I'm playing Elden Ring and and uh, just vibing, I guess. How are you doing? Uh, what were you streaming? Nuts too. Okay, I actually started to started to play that, and I, I definitely want to finish it because like it's such a pretty game. Like there's, it's just like the art in Psychonauts two is just amazing, and um, yeah, you know, I, I look forward to getting back to that. I hope that went really well. I'll have to check it out after my stream. Um, I hope this is a yeah, I got one minute on my timer, then I have to run and grab something out of the oven, but that'll take me 60 seconds, I think. And then we'll ride this big lift. Yeah, I love the first one too, like the, uh, um, just like the story and the themes. And I think the first one, I like so far, I like the first one a little bit more, but it's because uh, the first one wasn't under a spotlight, you know? Uh, the second one, I think they had to be a little tamer with <laughs> some of what went into the game because, um, you know, it was on every, it's on everyone's radar now, you know. But yeah, thank you again, Swizzle Griffin. I'm actually going to see if I could do... Uh, I would do a shout-out, but I can... I don't know how to do the shout-out command yet. <laughs> I need to look that up. And a lot of dragon podcasts too. Um, I uh, okay. There goes my timer. That will be sixty seconds for real existence. Be right back. I've returned, and I'd like to thank Duagden for the follow, as well as Swivel Griffin. Thank you so much. Um, looks like I'm being summoned to another world, possibly. Yeah, dragons, uh, the PvP tonight, I, I've been demolished by PvP tonight, dragon. 
Yeah, thank you so much. I, I, I'm working on being good. That's my goal. Um, I feel like I'm still fairly new to streaming. So, you know, I think what I got to work on is just consistency, I guess. But it's time to hoist a medallion. Like the other night, I made Dragon wait for like 15 minutes for me to get back. It was, it was very mean of me. Well, thank you. <laughs> I, yeah, I hope, I hope we uh, keep having fun. I'll always be thinking of some new stuff to do too, whether it's games or just, uh, I see a lot of people doing like randomizer stuff with Elden Ring now. And I think that can be fun, you know? Yeah. 15 minutes free of raccoons. First time I rode on one of these, I was just kind of amazed. Like I just, the scale of it, you know? Like there's so many elevators in this game that it's just like a little platform that rises. But in this one, some of the elevators are the size of like a skyscraper. So that's pretty dope. Yeah, this, this game is just constantly beautiful. And... Inviting people to invade us doesn't make it more beautiful, but it does make it more exciting. So I'm going to see how we do with that. Thank you so much, Swizzle, Grif uh, Swizzle Griffin. Um, I appreciate the raid again, and I'll definitely be checking out your channel. And have a great night. I, thanks again. Most stuff over here. I'm not sure what my next build is going to be. Um, I really like the... I really want to use the Death Poker, I think. There's our invader. Along with that guy in the distance. bad against fighting these spears. Got some distance, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> doing the damage. Very good. That's the extra word I should be using. That was a good fight. Oh, hey Tempest, how are you doing? I'm doing, um... I'm doing okay. I'm a little, like... Lightheaded because I haven't eaten, but I've got food here, so that should help.
I got chicken tendies. It's a, the chicken tendies are pretty great for like finger food, so I'm taking bites here and there. Yeah, food is good. I've actually like had a long history with like gut issues with food. So this is the first year in many years that I've been able to like eat normally, you know, and it's really, it's been really great. Or somewhat normally, you know, mostly normally compared to before, but... I think, um... I think pizza... can definitely be... is usually better than... chicken tendies, but... I will say that, like, if you've got a good, like, rub, like a, a spicy rub or something, um, I don't know, this could be real good. No, it was that one. Well, we'll get it. I make sushi and can just put the chicken tendies in the sushi and, and it's really good. Do you like, um, do you like chop up the chicken tenders? Or, you know, and, and then put it, stuff it in with the sushi roll. That does sound pretty good because, um, there's like deep fried sushi stuff. So I imagine that, yeah, the chicken would be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds really good. I think Yellowtail is my favorite sushi. Like, Nigiri style. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I was gonna attack. I'm really glad I don't have, um... I've yeah. been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand, and have audience with my mistress. I'm gonna take Raya's hand. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, I'll take Raya's hand. Give me your hand. I will pray. That you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. I've never tried sushi. The idea never appealed to me. I was definitely in that boat for a long time. And then, you know, and then I tried it and fell in love with it, honestly. But I, um, yeah, you know. There's, I think the a good place to start is like your 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 more general. Well, I don't know. It depends on what you like, you know. The, I think like the California roll is like a uh, has some like deep fried aspects to it. Yeah, not all of it is raw, so. So yeah, this teleporting to the volcano manor 
is how we skip we skipped a little bit of patches dialogue by doing this but i could not for the life of me remember how to get to that spot so the only seafood i like is battered fish and scampi um is uh do you usually get the the battered fish as scampi or do you go with like i think cod is the most popular one here in america but Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you, a warrior of promise, I believe she said. Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor and resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace? or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers. Rise with us against the Erd Tree. Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable, but be sure to earn your keep. Your family must say it's Haddock. Haddock is good. And fish and chips. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. Oh, it's time to use a key. But first we're gonna go upstairs. Kinda check out their house. See how see um see what kind of place this is. We're officially in Snake Town. That's a fun, that was a short fight. <laughs> but now we got two of the wheels. I've never seen people effectively use this in PvP. Like, either they're not building for it right, or it just doesn't do that much damage for for how slow it is. So maybe maybe we'll try someday. This Someone door is blocked. Please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Praetor Rikard. Hmm. You're tarnished. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Then please. Kill the great serpent. The one that devoured Praetor Rikard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. All right, he doesn't like snakes. Um, so we get, we, uh, that means we don't like him, I guess. Although we kind of have to... He's, he's important for another quest that we have to do. Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard, someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Worthy tarnished, 
I left the serpent slaying spear in the he, Lord's chamber. He kind of sounds like the dude. It is the only thing that can kill that horror. Run it through. The great serpent, that unspeakable monstrosity. He kind of sounds like the uh, the potions guy, if you're familiar with that meme. He's like, my potions are too strong for you. I've been hearing that meme a lot. And it's a good meme. It's grown on me. I, you know. Letter from Volcano Moon. We just got mail. Okay, this letter says Old Knight Istvan. It is a hit note. We have to. We have to murder them. And Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave tarnished under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. You're tarnished. My potions are too strong for you. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Then you must leave immediately. Those with weak stomachs have no place here. I thought I told you to leave. Or do you claim to understand what it means to be a recusant, renouncing grace and hunting down one's own? Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I, I don't. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. I don't know if it leads to, like, the most miserable death, but, you know, to each their own, right? This blasphemous path leads only to a pitiful death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Well, it's time to kill some of our own kind. Uh, I think that's what we're going to do. So it's been marked on our map. Um, we beat Radon. So we, we haven't checked out the Starfall Crater yet. And we just got a hit list item, so we can go take care of that. I think we might do that first, since we're here. And then a third thing we can do is... I did not finish... Uh, I did not finish this castle. So... Those are all our options tonight, I think. That and, like, letting people invade us while we do that. I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off real quick. There we go. I've got some weird headphones, so whenever I take off my sweatshirt, they make a sizzling noise. It's 
Sorry, doggies. Never apologizing to Dare, though. I'll leave the Dare alone. They're, they're having fun. It was such a sad puppy noise. I'm sorry. You attacked me. It's just the way it goes. So somewhere around here, there's a little spot. We're gonna invade Estevan. Not to be confused with, with Estevan from The Life Aquatic, if you've seen that movie. drop armor if you don't already have. well do they maybe they don't a lot of these invasions they drop armor sets when you beat them oh yeah scaled helm scaled armor scaled gauntlets if you if you're a scaly this is a very exciting moment um for me it's still exciting it's actually a pretty good armor it's a little heavy So we just finished our first hit. So now we can go back to Volcano Manor and see see what they think about that. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. Oh, okay, that's. I don't know how I feel about this place anymore. I feel like clean hands are like something I need to have. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. This is your reward, as promised. My shot. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. I am pleased to have you on our side. Cool. Uh, well, our hands are dirty. Which is... You know, I guess we can fix that at some point, maybe. Got another letter, it's just... Another name. So, you've blooded your sword in the hunt. Then I shall introduce myself once more. Banal. A recusant, just like you. Recusants have particular battle arts, styled to our methods of slaughter. Why not add some to your repertoire? Let's get styling. Uh, we already bought all these, apparently, except for this. And this. You've come to understand now, eh? To take power and make it his own. The recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, 
We recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Well, until we meet again. I like how this guy just like every moment of him being here is just him chilling. He's just chilling with this giant snake sword. The, it's called the Devourer's Scepter. It's actually pretty, it's not a sword, it's a hammer, great hammer. It's fun to use. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, fie, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. I hear a lot of slithering in the chat. Um, you know, we, we have dragons, we have other animals. I think most animals are capable of slithering, whether they like to admit it or not. Um, like raccoons can slither. There's definitely gifts out there of raccoons slithering. Sometimes I hear strange sounds beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales. Oh, perhaps I'm just feeling tired. Sounds like good ASMR. Yeah, it sounds cute. There's like cute slithering going on. I wonder if Raya just... I think she might just stay in there until we open these doors. I didn't notice that. Now I'm kind of curious, but it's too late now. I opened the door. Let's go and look for some slithering. Oh, it's a slither boy. Hello. What a cutie. <laughs> That's the, sl the slap noise they make when they hit you. And the little crunch noise of their, their bites. They're, these are the cutest enemies in the game. snakes they didn't they didn't hurt anybody they just kind of nipped at me a little bit Rage Perfumer Carmen. Kind of curious what his deal is because I think it's, I don't ever hear him talked about. Oh, he dodged me uh, like he knew what I was doing. Holy cow, that was a lot of damage. Okay. Bloodhound claws. 
Those are some big chunk and claws too. Let's take a look. Yeah, those are big ones. They kind of look like sloth claws. Oh, that guy's got the jellyfish shield on. Before I keep going, well, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at my guide and I'm looking at something about how Yura's quest can be interrupted too. Elden Ring is very peculiar and particular about um, its quests. And I thought we did Yura's quest. Taking a look right now. If the player doesn't complete Yura's quest prior to being possessed by Shibriri, they can still acquire most of the items, but... Did the Zammer ruins? Let's see. Yeah, we have to go to um, the Second Church of America. I know it seems sudden since we're here at the Volcano Manor, but, you know, um, I just don't want to miss anything, you know. And we got the Sight of Grace just now. We met, we met everyone in the manor, so I don't think that's too much of a change of uh, pace here. Here's the second Church of America. We can head there now. I'm gonna take it slow there for a second because I'm multitasking as a an object of power sitting here on my desk. Good old 420 essentials. figure out where we go next to get to the church just over there I guess Got a couple more taps here, then I'll be set. 
I'm like half AFK right now, so. Probably not audible on your guys' end, but. It's getting here right now. I have the NVIDIA broadcast to take care of that. Okay, I think that's done. And we can give my full attention to this summon here. So we get to go on a hike. This is sort of like a hiking simulator sometimes. Oh, there they go. Fuck boy Roy, may he rest in peace. Definitely want to do a dragon build. That's something that I've been wanting to do. There's definitely something here that we're missing, right? There's got to be a chest somewhere. I love running into everything, but I also like just having everything around, too. I think my brain just got, like, slightly worse at this game, but not so much that I don't think it'll be a problem. Just gotta- oh, you know what? This place is starting to come back to me. It's just we came in from the top and I almost always come in through that other side of the valley there. Um, this is the easy way to enter. Um, usually you're getting shot at by, well, this guy. Mostly. That's Jim. And his friend Jerry is over here. He's- Jerry's all right. This is Fred. Fuck Fred. Fucking hate Fred. Got no problems with that guy, but 
ever remember his name. I hope the music is good. I've been enjoying it. Like, this song sounds a little Christmassy, if I'm being honest, but I can hear it okay. I hope you guys can hear it okay, too. I can always adjust the volume if you want it higher. Kind of have it, like, a little lower than game volume right now. That's good. Rachel Talisman. Let's see if we can make it to the next side of Grace um, in one piece. one up here, but I just kind of want to go this way. Let's do it. Just tabbed out. There we go. I'm back. Oh, jeez. Why do we have this crab to help us? I thought that the crap would block that. Should know better than that, though. We're still heading in this direction. While we're here, since we got sent so far back, we may as well try and get that other... Um... Oh, I'm being summoned to another world. Cool. I love it. This is pretty early in the game. Here's our invader. That's also our invader. This good boy. Almost worked. They are kind of laggy, if I'm being real. We can play that game, huh? That's fair. That did pretty good damage, if I'm being real.
It's fun. Glad we got that hit. I don't think he can heal. That's what we're doing. Of course, he did get a net positive there. We can make the switch off in time. I can't believe we didn't get that. We got that one though. That's the dog! <laughs> the dog! That dog. Scary. Even though he hasn't been doing like the most damage. That kill is wolf, unfortunately. Oh, 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 I guess we won't. Oh, we did. Okay. I'll give this guy a bow. That was pretty good. Kind of out of out of existence there. Maybe that's what people mean when they say they're they're gonna bow out, you know. Tempest. I guess something I kind of got to decide for my stream is like, I don't know, like, if I'm going for a chill vibe, then I'm not always presenting as chill. You know? And uh, maybe that's something I need to get better at, or maybe I need to not do that. I think, like, some of my... I think tonight, it's been, it's been pretty exciting to get raided, so, you know. That's definitely new for me. Shield Crash. That's a game I really want to play on stream. Um, and maybe it'll be... I still gotta play Psychonauts, but maybe after Psychonauts, um, I'll play some Crash Bandicoot. I've played Crash Bandicoot a million times, but never on stream.
is a strange doggo, if we're being real. Not the most... It's a little, you know... I hope this doggo's okay. I think they have a crab attack. Not that one. Gonna see if they use it. If they keep spamming that. That would be it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's it. That's the grab attack, uh, for sure. I don't think we missed that one. Two for the PS1 was great, and I bought the Insanity Collection on Steam for the other two. Twin Sanity wasn't as good, though. Yeah, I I never played Twin Sanity, and actually, I'm, I'm curious about how it was, because I know it wasn't as good as, like, the first three. But I, I still was kind of curious, you know? As many as times as I played the first, second, and third. I played the second probably the most, because I, I do agree, I think the second one was the best out of all the games. The second one just really, like, it went from, like, being, a, a like, a decent game. Like, Crash Bandicoot 1 had some good things going for it, but nothing was, like... I mean, it was still groundbreaking for its time, you know? But then Crash Bandicoot 2 just, like, went and, and like, went a whole extra mile with it. So... And then Crash 3 was fun, too, but... Virtual Sword Talisman, that's a pretty good item. I, I've had a ton of cut content, which probably didn't help. I've never played Wrath of Cortex, but I watched a Let's Play and it didn't seem to evolve much from 3. Yeah, a 3 was the last game that Naughty Dog made, aside from Crash Team Racing. The first Crash Team Racing, not the second or third one, because there's been... I think three total now. Um, there was the original CTR Crash Team Racing, and then there was Nitro Kart, and then there was like the remake that combined, that had like basically both games combined. Uh, the remake was fine, but uh, Nitro Kart sucked, and the first Crash Team Racing was my favorite kart racer, like of all time. For sure. I definitely need to get to there. That's our goal. It's been, it's been harder than I thought it would be. The Erd Tree is close, only a little further till the foot of the Erd Tree, and the accord is fulfilled. It takes me back. I was born at the foot of the Erd Tree, where Mother gave me my purpose, though now everything is lost to me. I have to ascertain for myself the reason for which I live, burned and bodiless. Very cool. Thank you. I th I th um... Yeah. I, I always enjoy those lines. Like, they just... They're very grounding to me. I know that people meme on them, especially when she talks about the Accord, you know? Because everyone's like, oh, oh the Honda Accord. You know, which is fair. Uh, but I just, yeah, I'm just, um, it's what makes this game feel like there's some mysticism to be understood about it that I am too dumb of a raccoon to fully grasp. 
And we've got some pretty grabby hands, so you'd think we'd be good at grasping concepts too, but we can't really use our hands for that, so... Let's see if we are doing Euro's quest correctly by going to this church. Um, I don't think there's anything else up here. Sacred team. So this is your uh Eleonora. It seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please, Eleonora. Yield to the cesspit no longer. Do not stain the immaculacy of your soul. Your flesh. Your fire. He's fine. He's just taking a nap. Nagakiba. I never I've never gotten this. And here we are. Here's Eleonora. She it's not doing as he asked. I didn't know if she was a dragon. Swipe that dragon out of the sky. That is one thing that's kind of a bummer about the dragon incantations, is that you can kind of just stop them. But you have to be quick enough, otherwise you're in trouble. We got the pole blade, and we got the that other sword. Um, I think the pole blade is cool. Let's look at him, since we got him. So the Nagakiba is a katana with a ferociously long blade. It is very long. Look at that. Signature weapon of Yura, hunter of bloody fingers, uh, reminiscent to, of a reinforced spear. Its imposing length can be put to good use with powerful thrusting attacks. That's what somebody said, right? Uh, so Eleonora's bull blade is twin, uh, is a twin naginata forged in the land of reeds. Chosen weapon of Eleonora, Violet Bloodyfinger. Her mastery of the sword was such that her onslaught was likened to a whirlwind, but now her legacy is stained by a curse of blood. So because she became a bloody finger, she's. It's sort of interesting, like. I think there's like this implication that every every tarnished and perhaps like every character almost like or you know certain characters sort of have like this is a this is a place of undying you cannot die in these lands right so um they've all got like their own little meta like little multiverse situation going on but it's all connected to the earth tree, which is over there. Which I think is a really fun way to like take what are classical video game mechanics and put lore around them, you know? Like create a reason for why your character responds. Aside from just like you have bonus lives, you know. Okay. We are assisting 
So I'm gonna bring a bunch of enemies along with me. No, I'm not. Suckboy Roy disappoints us once again. Let's see. Well, that was uh, something we needed to do. Supposedly, we need to talk to Bach again. Bach was. Bach is still over here. So, do we have a side of grace over here? We should look for a side of grace before we leave. Good luck though, right? I don't see you. I see a tower. And it's, this tower is kind of annoying to get to, so I might take care of this tower now. In, in order to get inside the tower, we have to like kill three of these, possibly. Or does this guy just keep respawning? Phantom. So we have to touch the phantom before we kill them. And I think there's like two more. Hello Tempest again, welcome back. Oh, oh hello. Uh, we, we find a solemn person in mourning. Kind of has a, they kind of look a little bit like Snorp, if, if like Snorp had like a, a cousin, like a, a lanky cousin. the tower nearby, right? Where did it go? I think I lost track of where it is. Mirage Rise, it's, it's somewhere nearby then. We touched one of those. Touched three phantom crests. Oh, and it even shows a map. Mirage Riddle. Um, we already got two of them, so I kind of like just exploring. I hate when a game makes you look at a map most of the time, and the, I do appreciate that the Elden Ring map is, like, a good-looking map. I'm glad that there's no, like, mini-map, is what I guess I'm saying, because mini-maps kind of ruin... Like, I'll just stare at the minimap all day if it's there, and then I end up not looking at the game as much. Oh, wow. <laughs> they've, uh, they've dispersed the Blight, the Death Blight. It's a, that's a very PG way to put it, considering what we just witnessed. Those guys, 
<laughs> this is like the only area you run into them for the most part. They're very cool though. They're they're creepy as hell, but they're cool. And like the only place you see with like port hugs. I once met someone that didn't know what a hedgehog was. Like, I talked to them, and I like I forget what why it came up, but like I, I ended up mentioning Sonic the Hedgehog, which, funnily enough, I've never played Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, I haven't played a single Hedgehog game. I think he's a cool character, and I should play I should play the Sonic games. That would be fun to do at some point. Um, but this guy, like, he just had never heard of what a hedgehog is at all. And I was just like, what do you mean? He's like, I, I just, I don't know what that is. And I said, well, here, let me show you a picture. And like, I showed him a picture he had never seen a hedgehog before. And he's just like, this, this person who had been on this earth for like, I don't know, at least 35 to 40 years, um, had never heard of a hedgehog. I just, I, I still am amazed. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> how do you do it? Maybe he just forgets what hedgehogs are every time someone explains it to him. That might be his, um, his curse, you know, like it's a family curse. Like, they are, hedgehogs are unknowable to this bloodline. The guy was kind of weird, too. But... You know what? Tempest really likes the Mega Drive's 2D Sonic games and Sonic Adventures 1 and 2. He's from... I don't know where that guy's from. I met him in Seattle. Because he was a neighbor. Uh, I used to live in these things called Micro Studios. And they're like maybe 250 square feet of pop. They're tiny. They don't even have a kitchen. They just have a kitchenette. Um, you you share a kitchen between like five other people on the main level as well as laundry. Um, but you also got to share a roof deck, which was cool. I loved having a roof deck. Um, we may need to look at the map. So I just went in a circle. Knife print, Mirage, here we go. So we got the two near the rise. We need to get the one further south on that map. But actually east on ours, so it's like somewhere over there. You know what? Uh, Tempest knows that ouch mice aren't native to the U.S., which is why I was wondering. Ouch mice? I don't know if I've heard of... Um, or do you mean much mice? Or many mice aren't native? Something like that. But um, I, you know, people, lots of people have hedgehogs as pets here in this country. Like, not a ton of people, but enough that you, this guy should have heard of hedgehogs by this time in his life you know especially because of sonic the hedgehog like what a you know like i feel like that's people have at least heard of sonic but this guy nope not him i don't even remember his name he's just the hedgehog guy in my memory Oh, ouch mouse. That's actually really cute for a hedgehog. Because, like, if you grab a hedgehog, they're kind of prickly. Or, I don't know if they actually are prickly. It's been a long time since I touched one. I, I don't think they're, like, terribly hard to... Or, you know, they're not terribly sharp, but... 
So somewhere south or west of this bridge, there is a seal that we have to touch. I'm not seeing it. I think these guys can grab me. Can they... You gonna grab me? Not with that, you're not. That did not look like a grab attack. Oh god, <laughs> he's barfing on me. These guys are a little bit dangerous because the death blight buildup doesn't decrease very quickly. And it will. It's murder town. I really want to do more death blight stuff with invasions. I don't think this guy will grab me though. Now he's erupting again. And we will. die? Oh my god, we barely survived that. That bar filled up. So, the thing we're looking for might actually be up there on the right, so... I'm gonna look at that map again, I think. We're supposedly standing right about where we should be. Oh my god! That was so devilish. Really, they hit it there, all places, like inside of a rock. That is some, um... And... Also, I feel like, um... It would be really cool to see someone make a prop hunt mod with this game. Like a game mode where... You can get like a bunch of people on this on a map at once and do a prop hunt. I think that'd be a huge undertaking, especially like trying to get multiple people connected like that. But um, man, this game. Do you are you t you're not talking about steamed hams, are you, Tempest? Because steamed hams are a delicacy passed down by family generation to family, you know, generation to generation. Um, oh, yeah, steamed hams are not, they're not fast food. They take a long time to make, a lot of effort, a lot of um, culinary history to those. I just have to find the rise. It's over here. It's crazy how foggy everything is, so you can't even see, like, the tower very well. I'm gonna do something real quick, which is I'm gonna hide, and I'm gonna, gonna grab a cookie. So it should take me, like, 60 seconds. I'm not even gonna do the BRB screen, so I'll be right back.
All right. I'm back. Now that we know this area pretty well, we should invite someone up. And while we explore the tower, anyways. Hello, Tempest. I hope, uh, I'm trying to get uh, the timing down on stepping away because I feel like I'm, like, I eat. I kind of eat a lot because I'm like re I'm rebuilding a lot of muscle from like nutritional problems that I had in the past that uh, are are like much better now, but still kind of like building muscle. So I'm I'm like eating more than a normal person would, um, which is kind of a part time job at this point, but. I've gained, uh, in the past three years, I've gained, um, 50 pounds, um, and I'm now at, like, a normal weight, so it was a good 50 pounds to gain. Now I gotta, like, gain more weight in the form of muscle, uh, because right now my muscles are good, but not great. Well, they're maybe not good either. Best. We're getting there. Unseen blade and unseen form. I saw someone use unseen form that invaded us, and it actually helped. It does help uh, make it hard to see. So I might use that. I think that's the first time I've done this rise, then. leads us. So this is actually sort of where we could have gone to see patches. Um, I was going to jump up there, but... Um, Someone's invading now. We will go check out these ruins instead. footsteps. Oh, I see, yeah. Um, so, the jump pads, they only work when you're on Torrent the Ox, um, and it forces you to step off of Torrent once someone invades. So that's how I know I couldn't have tried it, but um, I do wish you could use the jump pads without Torrent. That would be really funny. See if we can spot for the um I don't know where the hunter was. I tried to look around but they died before I could check.
Another hunter has joined us. I just heard a flask used. That sounded fairly close by. We have a rot dog to take care of. These are no laughing matter. This guy's roll catching me. Yeah. Well, I didn't quite last long enough there. But we have a stake of merit. That dog went flying. <laughs> Jesus. Beautiful. I'm sorry, doggy. That was a rot doggy, though. That was one that's very mean. That was a nice one, so we missed. Yeah, jump pad. I don't know if that's where we came from. Oh, we were going to check this one out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a place. No chest in there. Side of grace over here, so we may as well get it. It seems like a fun place to have people come in because we got these Iron Maidens somewhere, I think. Yeah, up ahead. Someone already in there, too. Ruvian has come to say hello. I'm hoping I can spot the invader sooner than last time. Last time they kind of snuck up on us. He's just going to town on the maidens here. Thank you for, your, for the help, uh, Jackie Hooper. I know they can't hear me, but... It's really strange.
Oh my god. I think the Iron Maiden's pulled most of the way there. Kind of a morbid scene here. This looks a little bit like um, that that hair. I don't know. Just kind of reminded me of Bob Ross for a second, which is kind of messed up because I don't want to see Bob Ross like these guys. It's, it's, it's just uh, but yeah, he had the the crazy hair. Invaded by Awen. Do I see them? That is one advantage is invader, you do not get marked, so you can really sneak up on people. If you're far enough away from the invader, you can sort of fool them, too, your own ways. And by using the Mimic tier, or the Mimic Veil. See, now I look like a sign. You'll never find me. friends. They're up there. Okay. Well, we could go try and join him, but I feel like I'm missing something here, right? Not the shack, but... Am I really not missing anything? I thought that there was like a... I thought there was like a temple here or something. No. 
I went cliff diving or cliff jumping once, except I didn't. I didn't actually join in. Uh, my friends found a spot that was like well known for people jumping off the cliff into water, and it was like in a river area. And someone had definitely like there was like definitely, you know, crosses there because or there was one cross because someone had died there. And they're like, don't, you know, the whole thing where it's like, don't jump, you know, so you can die here. But my friends did it, and I didn't. It wasn't quite this high, though. But it felt... Yeah, it wasn't this high, but... This is actually really high. But it was, it was scary. I climbed up, but I didn't do it. Probably good that I didn't, you know, because I could have. It could have been bad. Could have not been good. Um, there's some funny gifts on the internet though. Of, like uh, the thing with like animals that are the size of like cats or or raccoons is that when they fall, they can do surprisingly well. Like. Um, so there's like this video of a raccoon climbing like this apartment building and it's like It's like the raccoon is like 10 stories up and The raccoon falls but it lands in sand luckily Just like falls 10 stories and then just like runs away <laughs> um, Which I hope it was okay because you know raccoons or any wild animal when they're like, if they're hurt, they tend to just, um, any way they can hide that, you know, and if they're scared, they're just gonna run. But, yeah, the raccoon just, like, fell ten stories, ran away, like, like it was, kind of like it was nothing. I hope, I hope it was fine, but it, it did run away, so. Yeah, yeah, that clip is, like, legendary raccoon clip. <laughs> it's, uh... Like the the thrill seeking raccoon. There's 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 like a video of raccoons doing like so many things. It's very entertaining. You know, I just realized, somebody asked me for where a good farming spot is. This is actually a good farming spot, I think. Because you can kind of just like run up, sneak around, and go for this guy. And you can continue to sneak around here. I hate it when it's with the moon veilers. Ah, oh, that's not good. Dang it. I tried to dodge. I'm just gonna heal again. We can heal twice. Out of FP, you better drink up. You better drink up. Oh, I didn't quite get him. me on stamina. Oh. We're okay. 
I'm surprised they're healing though. I should worry a little bit about them. I definitely have more class than them. Oh, I thought I could run past that. a good fight. Honestly, if they hadn't gotten... I think they got impatient there at the very end and thought that they could poise through that, which I don't know how they thought they could do that. I have two colossal swords. <laughs> clips that are on my mind though. I wonder if that's the same person we fought. I'm glad I played Elden Ring tonight, but I think my next stream will probably be Psychonauts. If it's a stream that's at this hour anyways. Um, I don't actually own the game, I'm playing it off of my friend's library, so as long as they're not playing video games, I can play it. And uh, I definitely want to get more into it. Or, you know, get through the game. It's a cool game. If I were gonna stay on longer tonight, I might even switch to it, but I don't know if I'm gonna stay on much longer. I feel like there's maybe an item up there, but I didn't see anything. We're close to where patches can be found, but um, the, the guide that I'm using warned that he may not be here since we made it to Volcano Manor. Yeah, he, usually he'll be over here, and he'll be crouching, like, right here. And he'll be like, oh, oh, don't mind me. I'm just hanging out here. You know, oh, but you should check out those rainbow stones. And then, and then you go and you look at the rainbow stones. It's like, oh, look, there's... Uh, where are they? Maybe they're not here right now. But there's a trail of rainbow stones. And then they lead you to like a cliff's edge. I think it's this one. And then, what do you know? Patches sneaks up behind you and shoves you off this cliff. No cap. And you, you survive it. But it's it's just kind of funny. Uh, I, I do enjoy it, but unfortunately, we we teleported to the to that area. It didn't work. <laughs> That's not gonna do it either. Nope. Still be it's better than the statue, but really? Okay, that'll do. That'll be good. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. I have to drink my fucking flask. Okay. I was so unlucky that I hadn't refilled, you know, I was out of FP. It's very important that I have FP for this next bit. But it's also important that... Ulcerated Tree Spirit? Why are they fighting the Ulcerated Tree Spirit? Well, let's see if I can spot where they are. They're... Are they down there? Yeah. They're like fighting a boss for me. <laughs> Which is bizarre. See the invader over there. Oh, okay. Richie has died. So sometimes the game's really weird about how it spawns people in. I thought we might have an invader coming right around the corner, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. I've been wanting to use the gravity thing to pull someone off a cliff, but. Um, haven't been able to do it yet. I need to see the new Puss in Boots, but I also need to see the old Puss in Boots. Has anyone seen the new one? Or the old one? Oh, we have an invader? No, that's a blood sting. So this is the temple I was thinking of. But I was wondering, like, where is this? Tempest has not seen either of them yet. Um, I can I can understand. Um, you know, not every movies aren't for like everybody. Um, I was surprised. Like usually, when it comes to animated films, I always I always enjoy the like visually what's happening in animated films and usually the like you know every story is dependent on how it's written but um kung fu panda the, the first movie was quite good um and then the second kung fu panda was actually like i feel it was maybe a little bit better um and like i was just surprised it was like a very uh 
enriching movie to watch. Also, I should was there, I should sit at the side of Grace instead of. Well, I don't need to. Uh, as far as like my favorite films go, I tend to like the. Like you know, I love I love the furry fandom and I love furry movies, but I actually prefer like non-furry movies usually, like as my favorites. But um, I've been meaning to watch uh, more David Lynch stuff. Oh my god, our health is so high that we can survive that with health to spare, so... How far did it go down? Pretty far. Oh, good game. Good game. I feel like it used to be easier for me to sit down and like watch a really long movie but i feel like anymore like it doesn't matter what movie it is i have to like get up and do stuff usually food stuff so like like uh, 2001 a space odyssey is like a really long film and i do enjoy it but um it's like it's hard to imagine watching it uh now in one day right i would maybe need a couple of sittings I forget if there's anything, anything down there. I'm kind of tempted to look because one of the perks of New Game Plus is that you do not get slowed down by lava, which I think is very fun. You do have a perk, by the way. So I don't actually even know if I've been here. Okay, Tempest, uh, thanks for joining. It was fun to have you. Um, oh, the ringed finger, holy cow. If you, if you want to see something neat right before you go, it's this. It's, uh, it's a big old finger as a weapon. Bludgeon made of an enormous finger sheathed in several heavy rings, uh, thought to have been cut from an ancestor of the finger creeper. Um, some life yet remains in this legacy of an ancient act of blasphemy, as evidenced by the rarely perceptible warmth that still exudes. So possibly the creepiest item in the game, right? Um, but it's got, it's a fingy, and you can fingy with it. <laughs> So, yeah, um, finger build? I guess so. I guess we're gonna have to make a finger build, as gross as that thing looks. Oh, no worries, Tempest. You have a great one. Thanks for swinging by. 
glad that, glad that you can make it for the finger content. <laughs> So now we get to run back up. I'm really glad we came down here, just kind of on a whim. I didn't know that there was an item down here. Oh, not only is there an item, there's like a, is there just, oh, is this a shortcut? This is a shortcut. This is a shortcut to the boss. What do you know? There's a shortcut to here too, which is our taxi, if we want it to be. Um, we might use it. Well, I don't know, it's so easy to get here. Maybe we'll use it now. Because there's stuff to get over here. Remember this guy. He's he's um he's serious. He's so far into the dungeon, and it is so easy to just die to them because like you're not expecting an enemy like that. They do a lot of damage too. Nice dodge on his part. Oh, never mind, he just ran into it. I do like this star spell. I need to use it more often. So we get the Gil Gelmir Knight set, armor set. Um, I don't know much about it. All worn by knights, once loyal to Praetor Rykard. Okay. Its crest of red feathers symbolizes Reichardt's pedigree as a lord, as Lord Radagon's son. And Lord Radagon, we haven't met, but he like married Renala, and then he kind of just dumped her at some point. Gave her like a weird egg, said bye, enjoy your egg. Kind of a weird thing to do, but you know what? He had, he, you know, people live their own lives. Uh, and unfortunately, that's, uh, not everyone gets the good end of the stick there with that. So, what am I missing? I'm missing, um, I'm missing something here. That's, there's two sets of armor here. And where is the other one, you ask? Uh, I ask the same question. But I know it's here. Maybe it's on him, but for whatever reason, I don't know, maybe we got it and I just didn't even notice. But there's two armor sets here. If you leave here with that two armor sets and you did something wrong. Like this specific room, two armor sets. 
I don't think neither. Like, they're not my favorite armor to use. But we have an invader. I would got some help. This guy knows what he's doing. Oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, very fancy. Now it's a little bit careful here. This guy knows what he's doing. He's got the, uh, he's got a halberd. I don't know. I think it's the strong one that I've used in the past. Oh, there he goes. Somebody else just spawned in, and I have a feeling that uh, they're above us and that they're gonna wreak havoc. That they're just gonna slap us around. I heard somebody. I don't think anyone's invaded yet, so let's fight the boss. It's Big Heck and Doggo time. Heck and Boofer. The boofy boy, uh, White Wolf, of the champion. Just gonna miss. Very good hit. That was a good dodge. I totally did that on purpose.
always a fun fight. If not a level pass. Hey, we're not using spirit summons. Um, here's a death root. Well, I think we can talk to... A little bit random, but let's talk to Bach. Bach the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Supposedly... Oh, that's what we need to do. Please. We need to get Radon's armor. Before we talk to Bach. Ah, you have returned. What is it? Now we can talk to Pog. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. So we already had Radon's armor here. We did have it altered. We'll, we'll alter another set of it, though. Oh, go in. Please do. I think we may have already done that. Then that part of the quest. Yeah, I guess we did. Okay. Um, I am curious about our. Oil prawn shack guy. He should be gone now. Yeah, he's gone. We need to find him though. He's not here. One guy we gotta keep an eye on is this fellow. Our favorite poo poo eater the dung eater himself have you ever felt the curse with your whole being the pox upon life itself feared and despised by all the reviled blessing what are dark um, apparently not you are but alone. <laughs> a stranger to defilement ignorant of your own ignorance you no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. This guy is from reddit.com. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Ooh, woo. I asked you. Be thankful of it is all. Okay. So... We have to find him, but we cannot find him yet. And...
when we do find him, can we give him some Gatorade to drink? Also, what the fuck are you still oh, doing here? I've been waiting for you. I've decided to leave the round table hall. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble goal. We may not meet again for some. If there's any incantations. Yeah, no, get the fuck out of here, dude. I don't want to see your face in here ever again. May the golden order shine through you. Cool. Leave. Bye. Um, I don't know why he hasn't left yet. They'll have to talk to Kula too. Do you got anything to say? Well, I took you for no matter. It's all out your arm. No. He's cool. Um. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but. I heard from getting them. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. Yeah, get, don't you shouldn't feel bad about that. And I can no longer trust him, Father, to think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? Probably. No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. If we give the potion to her, we will miss our chance at the Dung Eater... Um, the Dung Eater buddy companion, Ash, uh, Spirit Ash. So we're just going to leave. We have an invasion over here to complete. We also have to find a side of grace over here, I think. Oh wait, no, that's not an invasion. This is just the next step in the story. Starfall Crater. Um, where is our next invasion? It's over here. I don't think this side of grace takes us here, but we can get there through here. Sure. So while we're here, Millicent is here. And this plant is. Ah. We meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Caled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. Now, I'm tracing she's past. Yep, 
Um, and I have to come back and give you something, but I haven't gotten it yet. I have to give you an arm. You deserve an arm. We can get another death root real quick. fought the skeleton because like I don't think you can do any damage to it even it's just there to murder you Pretty twitchy. We'll leave him to it. Alright, Spire, I'm gonna head off to bed. You have a good rest of your stream. Thank you so much, uh, Dragon Outcast. It's, it's been fun, and thank you for pointing um, Swizzle Griffin towards me. I'm, I'm definitely gonna look at their stream after this, too and follow them. Um, it, that was super fun. Definitely made my night. And yeah, you have grid rest as well. Where's Bodie McBoatface? He sometimes end up, ends up up here in his boat. I don't know how he gets up here in his boat, but he does. Oh yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was, like, it was, it was super cool. I, um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> It's, 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 it's interesting. For sure. Yeah, thank you again. And I'll, I'll definitely consider making the Discord too. I, uh... It's, you know, I'm at a crossroads right now, so I'll have to think about it. I hope I can keep streaming, but I also hope I can do other things too, and I may have to... It may be tough to decide, or I may not have a choice, you know, so... I'm 
thank you again for your following. Bro. Yeah, just like, you know, a lot's changing in my life at the moment. Um, times are tough on top of that, you know? So, I, um, yeah, you know, I, uh, it's, it's, it's just, you know, family stuff and stuff happens, you know? And thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I think I'll be okay, you know? It's, uh, I'm not, like, uh, I'm not, like, in a skirt position right now. I'm just gotta, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I hope I continue to have some time for streaming. I should still have some time for it. At least for a few months. I don't know. I don't know where this guy is. Sure, the world be screwy at the moment. I do it do be screwy? I hope it's okay for a lot of people to put things out at home. Oh, here he is, and is in the lake here. It's a lake of, of uh, grass. Maybe a summons. I, um, you know, I think that's a good way to look at it, you know? I've been, uh, I've been very accommodating for a long time for some people in my life, you know? And, um, you know, I've made my own mistakes too, but I feel like I've, uh, You know, I'm being summoned. Everyone makes mistakes, it's how you learn from them that matters. Yeah, I think that's true. And I've, you know, I think what's frustrating is that, like, I, you know, I, I tend to learn pretty quickly from the mistakes that I make. And, you know, I just, I, you know, I, you know, I went through a breakup recently, so, um, I was communicating very thoroughly, but I also wasn't being a great listener. But they also, you know, weren't communicating with me at all in some pretty rough ways, so. But I feel like I've learned a lot that I'm glad that I learned, you know? There's no easy way to learn stuff in life sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta do it. If games have taught me anything, it's uh, if games have taught me anything. If you find enemies, you're going the right way. Yes, yeah, that's it. That's true. Um, you know, and it's tough because like I, I struggle to you know try and be on people's side if I can, and 
even when it doesn't always seem like a good idea. So, you know. And I, but it has it's it's gone like okay for me, you know. Overall. I don't think that describes my recent experiences really. But I do like I do like that for, um you know a way of considering it. I think I'm lost. Or there's a secret room somewhere. This is so bizarre. Oh, is it? Um, back towards the elevator? Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, so I've been in, <laughs> there's no, it's no wonder I've been lost. Like there's supposedly a host of fingers here to, to protect. Like I, I've been here so long that I forgot. <laughs> I've been lost for that long. Um, and they're about to die. It's one of those where you have to like run through. Will we be able to help? Are they down here? I think I might I think I might have screwed up. Okay, that was bad timing. <laughs> oh you have to ride the side things. Thank you. I have to write these ones though. Right? Because I don't see anything up there. To get to a doorway. Yeah. Um, I'll have to check maybe the next one. I do remember. Um, I think that is true for one of the uh, dungeons. It's kind of one of those moments where I should have maybe just abandoned ship, I guess. Cause I don't, I don't even know where the fight is. Somewhere a heavy door opens, so at least there's that. I think I'll have to backtrack. Yeah. I'll back I'll go back here. So there's that. Mm. The heavy door is actually up up above us, I think. So I know you can drop down there, but You know what? Oh. 
Dang it. That was kind of bad. That almost worked out. That was a very long um, assist run. Oh yeah, have a great night. Thank you again for, for everything. It's been fun. I'll try and start a little sooner next time. I've been starting a little too late. That's fair. We sure did get sidetracked. Well, I don't think it's sidetracked. There's no such thing as sidetracked in Elden Ring, in my opinion. I think the game kind of, uh, you know, is just, it takes you places. Like the skeleton town. I think there's probably a way down over here towards the uh, Mount Gelmir continent. And I have to swing by and get. Very glad I have Torrent. Yeah, over here. Barrage Obama? Yes, please. I really like these frog guys. If there was a raccoon version of them, I'd be in very interested to see what they look like. <laughs> Just like the gigantic eyeballs. Um, big old alien eyes.
I'll get out of the poison before I do that. I got almost squanched. This is a goopy dude. If they land on you, they sort of like munch on you for a second. It's kind of funny. They're kind of like a Cubert, like a gooey Cubert character. Did I come from here? Yes, I did. Um, I think there's like a mm, boss. No, there's rats. <laughs> These rats are pretty boss, though. Just like hanging out of the rat club. And the cave that gives you the famed mushroom crown. Um, which is definitely an item I deserve. I, I've, I've cooked a lot of mushrooms in my life. You know, Jim Carrey in, in the Sonic movies. He's, he's uh... He, he's seen a lot of mushrooms in his time, too. But not as many as me. Not good. Not a good start. Yeah, not a good start. It's a bummer. I gotta be careful with that flask because if I um if I drink that flask before I know where the enemy is, then it's just, that's gonna happen. Yeah, I wish it were. I wish it were that duog dean hope i'm saying that um, your name sort of reminds me of there's this um i think it's a character in doom called Mo Deep. Uh, i may be i may be um, not saying that wrong well, I'm not pronouncing Mwad D wrong, but I may be pronouncing your name wrong. It's Drow for Holy Sword. So Drow... Drow Dean? And no one says it right. Yeah, that's the bummer. <laughs> Browse in the race in D and D. Oh, okay. I started playing D and D at one point, and uh, had a lot of fun with it. But I also like, I don't know. I kind of had trouble with some of the, some of the role playing. Like I, you know, I it was um, I want to try it again. It's been a it's been a long while. There's so many ways to turn in this cave. More rats? Yes, please. Feel free to tell me about the drow. I don't actually know much about the drow race.
You roll under dark elves. Oh, okay. That's cool. I relied heavily on the DM when I was playing. Poison again. So this is a uh, poison hellscape. Here we go again with the poison. I'm so used to having a, an incantation build where I can just like um, encant the poison away. Mushroom head, mushroom body, mushroom arms, and mushroom legs. And I think mushroom crown right behind this. No. I think I'm, mis I'm maybe mistaken. I don't think the mushroom can. No, it's. I think it's somewhere here. This feels familiar. Yeah. I think I went in a big, gigantic circle. Um, so yeah, that's towards... That's where we entered. This is where we need to go. We ended up up there, I believe, and then that's how we got turned around. But I feel like there's maybe a way to go this way. This, yeah, here we go. Sure. I think um, after this boss, I'm going to try and raid somebody. Um, it's, it's getting late for me. I'm almost at the four hour mark. And I have had fun. You know? Let's see if I can handle the boss. Oh god. I probably can't. 
Well, I probably will do a lot of damage to them. Shit. <laughs> It's a little cheap that I can heal for, I don't know. They're pretty mean. They've got too many fingers. Kindred of Rod's Exaltation. I think that's a pretty useful item. I think it gives you bonus damage whenever there's poison or rot nearby. And there's a lot of ways to make that, you know, do that. Um, I guess we don't get the mushroom crown here. We get the mushroom set, though. If we want to look like a mushroom. A little bit curious about what that lore is for the mushroom. Mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms have colonized the head. To those enraptured by the scarlet rot, these are holy vestments that root one to earth. That's really interesting. It's like the flowering of the rot is a mushroom. So, definitely interesting because there's, there's all kinds of like blooming stuff in this game, and just because it's pretty doesn't mean it's like a good thing. And I wouldn't call mushrooms pretty, though. So yeah, um... I think I'm going to go ahead and see if we can raid Nady Beak. Um, thank you everyone again for swinging by and... Um, I gotta, let me make sure I want to pronounce your name right because you told me, but I'm having a spacing it. It's Drow. Drow Dean. Thank you again for the follow earlier and, and joining in on the raid. I'm going to go ahead and raid Nady Beak. I um, hope everyone has a great night or a great day. Whatever time it is, just go at it. Kick some butt. Uh, thanks again. See you soon.